In this video, we're going to look at how to write a Boolean expression for a given logic circuit, and also how to draw an equivalent logic gate for a given Boolean expression. So let's start with a quick recap of the Boolean operators and their associated logic gates. We have the NOT gate, the only gate that takes one input, it reverses the input. We have an AND gate. If both inputs are true, the output is true. We have an OR gate. Only one input needs to be true for the output to be true. We have an XOR gate or exclusive OR gate where one and only one of the inputs needs to be true for the output to be true. We have a NAND gate, which is a NOT AND gate. It effectively reverses the output of an AND gate. And a NOR gate, a NOT OR gate, which effectively reverses the output of a NOR gate. So let's try constructing a Boolean expression from a logic diagram. The final output of the diagram is D. So we start by writing the expression D equals. There are two gates feeding into the OR gate. The first is an AND gate with the inputs A and B. We use the symbol of a dot to represent AND in Boolean algebra. So the AND gate can be represented as brackets A dot B brackets. The output from this AND gate is going to be combined with the output from the NOT gate to become the two inputs for the OR gate. Therefore, directly after the bit of the expression we've written so far, we need the Boolean algebra symbol for OR, which is a plus. So we have D equals brackets A dot B brackets plus. All that is left is to represent the other input to the OR gate, which is NOT C. We use the line symbol to represent NOT. So the final Boolean expression is D equals brackets A dot B close brackets plus C with a line over. OK, so let's look at another one. Try this example yourself. Pause the video and write out the Boolean expression for this logic diagram. Then unpause the video and check your answer. OK, so we have an output with D, so we've got D equals. Working backwards, we can then see that whatever the previous part of the logic gate works out of, we're then going to reverse it with a NOT, so we're drawing the line there for NOT. We then see we have an AND gate. So we've got NOT, C, AND, something, and that something is being supplied by the other gate, which we haven't written out here yet. And then finally, we have the OR gate, A or B, and that is one of the inputs to the AND gate. We can see down the bottom there, we have brackets C AND, brackets A or B, A plus B, we've closed both the brackets, and then we've put the NOT symbol over the top of the whole expression. Another acceptable answer could have been written out as follows. These two expressions mean exactly the same thing. They're both interchangeable. OK, let's try one final example. Again, pause the video and write out the Boolean expression for this logic diagram, and then unpause it and check your answer. So either of the following two Boolean expressions are correct. It all depends which gate you chose to start with. Now, how did you do? So in this final example, we're going to tie everything we've learned together so far. Carefully read the scenario. Then pause the video and try to draw the logic diagram for the scenario. Construct the truth table and write out the Boolean expression using Boolean algebra. So what we've got here is a fire alarm goes off if either the temperature inside the building rises above 60 degrees Celsius or someone manually activates a fire alarm. 
a firefighter should be able to manually shut the alarm off, regardless of how the alarm is triggered. So here is the correct logic diagram. Let's work through the scenario to check if it's correct. So we should try various inputs and work through the logic. Let's start with all inputs as zero or false. In other words, the temperature is below 60, the fire alarm has not been set off, and a firefighter has not shut the alarm off manually. Okay, so what if the temperature rises above 60 degrees Celsius? The fire alarm should go off. And we can see that if we set the temperature input to one or true, then both inputs to the final AND gate are true and one, and the final output is one or true, meaning the alarm will go off. So, so far, so good. If the alarm is set off manually, it should also go off. And this results in the same situation as before. Once again, the final AND gate is now receiving two ones, and so the output is one, and thus the alarm goes off. We also need to check if the alarm will still go off if both the temperature rises above 60 and the alarm is activated manually. And this still works as we're using an OR gate at this stage, which only requires at least one of the inputs to be true for the output to be true. If we'd used an XOR gate at this point, the fire alarm wouldn't go off, and that potentially would be very dangerous. We also need to check that regardless of the inputs to the OR gate, the fire alarm can be manually shut off by a firefighter. And we can see this works. If we set the input of the NOT gate to 1 or true, its output becomes 0 or false. And so the final AND gate's output will now also become 0 and false. Now let's turn our logic diagram into a truth table and a Boolean expression. We start by creating a column for each of the inputs, in this case A, B and C. We then need a blank column for any interim outputs or inputs and the final output. We need a column for the output of A or B, which we're going to call E. We also need a column for the output of not C, which we're calling F. You can substitute any letters you like for the various inputs and outputs shown here. We then need to list all the possible combinations for our three inputs, and the easiest way is to count from 0 to 7 in binary. So that's from 0, 0, 0 to 1, 1, 1, and there are the rows filled in there. Next, we complete the part of the truth table that represents the OR gate, remembering if either A or B is 1, then the output column E is 1. So we've done that there. Next, we complete the part of the truth table that represents the NOT gate. So remember, if C is 0, then F is 1, and vice versa. So that's nice and easy, and we've done that there. Next, we complete the final part of the truth table, which represents the AND gate. Remember, both inputs to the AND gate, that's columns E and F, must be 1 for D to be 1. And you can see we've done that there. And here, is the Boolean expression for the truth table. Note that either of the expressions shown are correct. It all depends whether you choose to start with the OR or the NOT gate when writing out the Boolean expression. Having watched the video, you should be able to answer the following key question. How do you translate a logic gate diagram into its associated truth table and Boolean expression and vice versa?